Hello everyone, my name is Hector Dillmember and welcome to this week's stream of Rise of the Reds. Um, instead of what the uh, broadcast title says, Comrade Crimson, today is joining me, uh, Banisher of Hope. Hello, hello everyone. Hello, hello. Um, you actually just left the lobby for a brief moment for me, but... Let's start with the match, shall we? Uh, Very good place to start. You know, like, what was the plan? Hey, this looks familiar. <laughs> this map. Hey, Mr. Kim. Hey, CCCP. And hello, Luna. Attack, attack. Hello. If you can't load the video, well, get better internet. But for me, it's afternoon already. Let's see, Medix is in. Still waiting for one player. And you're still on random, you'll have to switch to observer. Yeah, it's uh, perhaps a smart idea. And Knaas <laughs> is in. Right, so we've got the match. And Dronich is always welcome. Uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me just... Uh, yep. Because they wanted a uh, rematch, and I think it was specific to uh, a map as well. Previous stream, don't remember. Oh, with horrible choke point bridges. Oh, that one, that one, that one. I don't remember. I think. I think I remember that one. Oh, and Ken Jazz just went to double check himself. Okay. There, Silent he's River. No. Well, What's something with an S? Final Crusade, that's the one. Okay, well. As it was a request from one of the players, or from both players, then uh, we shall do That's it. That's the one. And am I sick? Well, I've got a little bit of a cold. You'll need to have some uh, hot toddies. I don't have them. No? Nope. You don't keep a bottle of DeCarper gin in the cupboard? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Players are ready, so let's do this. Start pinging in the chat, everyone. Medics! Yes. Last second. Hey, Dutchy Gamer. Oh boy. So, we've got uh, Kanaas here in the north, west, playing as China, just as Dutchy Gamer did last week. And ECA for uh, Medics, as he did last time. So, so we're going to see if uh, Medex's uh, massive bunker can be penetrated by uh, perhaps some uh, blob foo. Barbecue, blob foo, aerial tactics and <laughs> such. Hey Fortis, how you doing, man, buddy? And hey, Sour Phoenix. And indeed, Knaas wants to uh, succeed where your rage quit failed. Last time. Game is uh, already starting off with a bang. A little bit of a freeze here and there. Got a cheetah helicopter right there. Added defense. It's really uh, an almost uh, essential base defense for ECA at this point. Yep. I it does hold. leave you blind a bit though. Yeah, it does, it does, because of course, uh, any stealth detection, uh, you'll have to rely on your uh, field commands and such. Yep, except for infantry, where you can get out some uh, dogs. Yep, well, we've got a scout dog there already, so uh, he's got that sorted out. And he's got a field command up already. We really went really fast with that. Lennox started to capture one of the oil derricks here, alongside with building a uh, guard tower, right there in the south. Hey Jeremy, how you doing buddy? And here in the north where uh, Kanaas has his two oil derricks here and in the south he's got one over here. He already garrisoned uh, the civilian building yet he hasn't captured it yet. Oh I see some movement. Yeah, two red cards moving to the uh, oil derricks over there. Probably even the third one. That's a tank hunter. There was, there was one of Medex's dogs there. But he couldn't quite make it to the Red Guards in time. 
That's why you see one of the red guards is um, got, has veterancy there. Okay. Well, I missed that too, but uh, well. Hey, Miso, how you doing, buddy? A uh, little bit of action with a battle tank, uh, battle master coming in. To, uh, well, where, 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 where? Middle of the map now. Middle uh, oh, yeah. guard tower. Spotted. Being bombarded by the cheetah and the guard tower indeed. Yeah. That cheetah is very lethal. Yeah, it is. Hey, Sartorial Bear, how you doing, buddy? Been a while. Yes. So it looks like Kenjas has all of his oil, but Medic still hasn't moved to his northernmost oil yet. Yeah. And uh, Dashi, you are right. Um, Crimson is currently missing in action, and thus the Banisher of Hope is my co commentator, a fellow Canadian. Stepping in for my uh, fellow Kanakistanian. Yep. Probably uh, too, uh, too much booze for him. Perhaps. Yeah. There's a. Uh, oh, there was a uh, listening outpost that got shot, but immediately went invisible. But the scout helicopter actually uh, occasionally just uh, makes it appear. Yeah, it does have stealth detection directly below it, but that's, of course, random as to where it is. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, we have a bit of a charge at the very south. Uh... Spotted. Couple of red guards, probably. Maybe a few tank hunters, battle masters that I see. Ooh, nukeneers! Nukeneers! The question: Does the bomb truck have a new model now? And I think it actually has a couple of variants. Yes. Hey, Wolf, how you doing, buddy? Those nukeneers are lethal. Uh -huh. Just chewing through medics as defenses. Yep. So I guess uh, you, we've uh, got a grenadier out. Yep. Um, by the sound that the grenades make, I'd say that he, he switched to the anti-infantry ones. Yeah, he made quick work of quite a few red guards there. Yep. Oh my goodness, look at all that nuclear explosion there. Troop crawler crossing the water over there. And Medix has medics been defeated already. You have been defeated. Nukadeers indeed. Yeah, that is a, a hard thing to come over because... Um, Yep. You're, you're looking for the mortar pits to defend against the Nukaneers, and that's all the way right at the last tier. Uh-huh. No brakes on the nuke train. You're right about that. But yeah, this is not really uh, looking at like Dutchie's playstyle. He likes Blobfu, he likes uh, just to take a little bit more time, it seems, with, uh, with his approach build up an army but he had trouble getting his blobs across the river that was uh, what we yeah. saw last time absolutely and it was actually uh, Kness who asked me to save the replay for the, this very match uh, except for Dutchie then of course uh, regarding just to study it and uh, Costa PRK RPK sorry uh, hey there and as I asked you earlier, did you not already follow my channel? I can't remember you doing that on any map. You did something wrong with the... Okay, so he wants to do another rematch on a different map, I guess. Okay. No time to set them up, yeah. Xadus is in. Vanisher, you're, you're in. It's like Vanisher is in. Oh wait, you're my co-commentator. <laughs> yeah, and you're still random? Yeah. I'm still random. I'm so random. Also, we have Xadus instead of um, Medex. I think so. Okay, Xadis is uh, leaving already. Yeah, Kness, he didn't get the uh, top oil, Derek. Did he have an airport? I don't know if uh, 
He just went for the airport. Don't think uh, he even needed it. No, I think he went straight for those uh, Nukineers. He had quite a few of them out. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, a different map, they said, so let us go on... Yeah, Frozen Front. Nice little map. Yep. Not at all, take the middle or die. Nope. Click Jäger. It's waiting on medics. Or uh, Knast to accept. Or wait. <laughs> or wait? What? He said, or wait. I don't know why. No, he said, okay. No? Yes. We can go. Second match of today. So that this uh, will last a little longer. Eight twelve USA Bruce. Yes, he's the only sniper that can fire without revealing himself. There you go, uh, Evan. Right. So now Kness is at uh, is going as Russia in the north, and in the south we've got uh, medics again with uh, ECA, or as I always say, it, Eka. And um, wait, is this? The wrong map? No, no, th this is the right map. Uh, we've got some space between them, so that's going to give ECA a bit of a chance to uh, build up some defenses. Yeah. Hey, Mills, from how you doing, buddy? Indeed, indeed, indeed. I was just looking around. Uh, why the fuck am I on top? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hey, full uh, Genesis, how you doing, buddy? And uh, hello, Soras, of course. We we have Chinese men armed with mini nukes. That's easier to mop them up than spill off spaghetti. Okay. So I'm seeing two barrackses from Kenjaz. Looks like he's going to try to do some uh, infantry rushing here at the start. Yeah. That's, that's a good possibility. I also see that he's uh, moving a crane down here in the west. For some reason. Maybe just for those extra supplies? Uh. Yep. He's building his supply warehouse now. Yeah, indeed. There are some supplies. It's kind of hard to see from this distance uh, at this resolution, but there are some extra supplies there indeed. Just a few, but with Russia every little bit helps because everything's so expensive. Yeah, until of course you get the uh, industrial plant. Yeah, and your Borsch sellers. Yep. <laughs> Borsch sellers. Doomember, can you tell me about the uh, ma Russian Mastodon Seed Chopper? It doesn't exist. For all I know. Yeah, that was uh, in game very, very early on in. Uh, one of the um, betas, but it it was taken out because it was too glitchy. Yeah, I guess so. Medics got one of his oil derricks. Uh, that is going on over there. And Kanaris captured the, that oil derrick as well. I think there was like one more oil derrick around here. That's just a civilian building. Yeah, that's looks like they're here. both spending their money as fast as they can make it. Medics with about 3k and Kenjaz with about 2. Yep. So neither one building up uh, any money. Well, they're building up money. We, you know that Kanaz has the uh, resources here in the north. He both have at least one oil derrick each. Yep. And, uh,. I think both of them went for the large supplies as well, yep. With, yeah. I think, two uh, gatherers over there and over there. Kenjas hasn't even built a war factory yet. He has a radar before a war factory, that's... Uh, oh, that's weird. That's odd for Russia, he must be uh, really sticking with the infantry. Yeah, well, he's going for a weapons bunker. I thought you needed a, uh, a war factory for that. 
or am I completely mistaken? Ken Jazz has no war factory. Yeah, I know. And he has a bunker? He's going for a weapons bunker right now. Oh, he has a war factory. It's uh, in the west. Getting close to the center. Where he's got a radar and a barracks building below the uh, extra resource gathering over there, the west. Ah. You see it? Yes. He built his uh, expansion quite forward. Mm hmm. Probably to give his slow tanks a bit of a head start. Yeah. Clever, though. Yeah. Clever, clever, clever. Yeah, I, I, I spotted it, uh, Miso. We have a deployment zone going up in Medix's base. Yep, saw that one. He's already got his uh, T2 out. T2? Yeah, here. And I'm seeing uh, a very aggressive push with the, the uh, radar towers. He's got an outpost, observation outpost now, just about in the middle of the map. Yeah, he's moving forward. Uh, he, directly he next to a gun turret here. <laughs> the gun turret's going up first. It's like right over here. He's got a gun turret, the scout helicopter. Now we've got a uh, sky shield battery going up. I don't know if it's going to be useful y full yet. I do know that uh, Kness likes op the occasional uh, use of air force and such as Russia. But it's always just a, ge a guess if he's going to go for that one today or not. I see. Well, he's going for the industrial plant all the way at the back of his base. So he's going up for tier 2 right there. Um, I don't think there's much else going on at the moment. Uh, he's already got another war factory coming out even closer. Uh -huh. I spotted it. He's like inching forward, really. He is. He is t definitely trying to take map control. Yep. Oh, and my goodness, does he have three war factories up already? One. There's one in the uh, two. east. The west, and just a bit south of his base. Three. Yeah. My goodness. He is going for map control. Well, I'm, I am seeing two Harriers here uh, above the deployment zone. Uh, that's going to... Oh, he's got another war factory going up in his base, Ken Jazz does. Really? Well, I he's guess that gonna that, be... that's, that's... I know what that is going to do. That is uh, purely for uh, the boar sellers. Yeah, yeah, the boar sellers, as you call them. Yeah, boar sellers. Ooh, those Harriers may have met their match with that tongue. Well, that's going to be a little... Uh... Yeah, he definitely uh, deployed Chaft and left. <laughs> uh -huh. Worst oh, we have a Sentinel on the field. Papa Tank is now on the field. Yep. Uh, can I see what he's going to do? Not yet. Yes, borscht sellers, apparently. <laughs> People just come up with random names, names for stuff. Well, they also sell borscht. Yeah, okay. We've got a Yak Mamut over here. Never knew that Mamuts were uh, carnivorous. Arm suppliers. They supply legs too. <laughs> <laughs> I burned my borscht. I'll call 911. <laughs> so Ken Jazz is uh, floating up a bit higher around 5, but Medix is still uh, just over 2. Okay. Yeah, Medix, uh, I think that uh, Ken Jazz does have the economical superiority with uh, just a bit of extra early resource gathering from uh, those resources over there. Plus, I'm seeing four. Um... Four war factories. No, four gatherers, four uh, war trucks on his main supply. Yeah, you're That's right. A lot. Huh. He definitely was uh, pulling out all of his resources as fast as possible. Yep. And uh, the oil derrick here on the Medix's side is already destroyed thanks to the Sentinel. 
as yep. it drives backwards, or no, it drives forward, but the turret was Shoot rotated back. the other way around. So we have one Harrier down now, only one Harrier is still in the air. Uh -huh. Thanks to Mr. Uh, Kashtan. Yep. Couple of gun turrets that I see, he's making more, a uh, couple of mortar pits now. So, now it's the time that uh, Medics needs to bunker in. Well yeah, I already see the second Sentinel coming out onto the battlefield. Yep, right over there. Uh, uh, he's uh, pushing in on the uh, right hand side to Medics' base with a small force there. Yeah, MTP recovery vehicle, one uh, Tungaska and one uh, Kodiak. A nice little assault force if it's undefended. Probably going immediately for the uh, oil derrick over here. Yep, there yep. you go. Mighty, Good call with that. Mighty Fubu, thank you. Welcome to the channel. Is the new patch coming anytime soon? Yes, it's coming anytime soon. But when exactly? We don't know yet. Still in development. Yeah, the estimated, it's in the first quarter is the estimated release date. Yep. Another Tungaska joins in, or another Kodiak joins in as well. Now that could be a force to be reckoned with, with that MTP there. Yeah. Two Kodiaks Sentinel's are moving in, on the, in the west though. And Big he doesn't one. have enough mortar pits up yet, I don't think. Uh -huh. Ooh, Boris must be out, because I yeah. saw a... Uh, Mix? Mix strike. Alright. And there's Boris. Although I don't see him yet. He's just above the um, Sentinels. And it looks like he went RPG. Always a good choice. Oh yeah, over there. Spot it, spot it. Stop whining. Go grab some beer, will ya? No need for that white crap. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be well worth the wait, because I've got some very cool things planned for... Uh, Post release. Oh, seems that he has uh, placed a beacon near the uh... AA your Solaris, please. And <laughs> Medics is saying you win already. Yeah, I'm seeing Mustaz now coming in for their bombardment of his uh, mortar pits. Ah, we've got a mole mine layer on the field though. Some lethal uh, artillery units. Yep. If unorthodox. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Duncan Emerald. Uh, the SWR.net is uh, whitelisted, so you can post it. Looks like Medex is still struggling with cash, just under 2k. Uh, where Kenjaz is still floating around the 5k, 5K but bending. Absolutely right. Well, my layer is doing some damage though. And we have another war factory going up in the back of Kenjaz's base. And I'm already seeing a slew of soup slingers. Yeah. <laughs> this is like Mr. Economy there. Yes. And the Mista took out the mole mine layer at that little uh, engagement front there. But I'm uh, seeing now a uh, Warhound to uh, back up his lines. Those are quite lethal when dug in. Yep. Barrier might try to do something else here as well. Yeah, there you go. But he's going to have to watch out for that cash stand and the Inglas. Uh -huh. uh, I don't think he's going to make it out of there. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. He has quite a lot of anti-air sitting back there. Mm -hmm. I think we've got some tear gas perhaps? Yeah, that's tear gas. <laughs> Makes me cry! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see... Definitely looks like Medex is digging in like a lethal tick. Who's the co-commentator? That is Banisher of Hope. The guy that a couple of weeks, uh, two months ago, donated a hundred dollars to me.
Oh, cry me a river. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, finally, uh, Maddox is going for his tier 2 economy, so that's why he was struggling with cash. Only now finishing his telecom relay station. Plus, Since he only has two gatherers on each supply. Yeah, and he's left the other supplies up here on the hill even, alone, even. Yep. He was really counting on those uh, oils uh, for his economy, and those were both taken out by Kenjaz. Yep. I'm seeing a Grumble moving in nice and close to try to probably take out anything that pops out of that uh, deployment zone. Could be, could be. The range on those Grumbles is something to be feared for sure. Mighty Fubu. Oh, we have a hind coming in. Taking out some anti-air units, maybe? No. Good effort, but uh, unsuccessful. Mighty Fubu, uh, what Doomy Bot is going to post right now is meant for you, particularly. And is the, uh, the launch going to be announced on Mod Database or Stream first? Don't ask me! Uh, we had um, Ken Jazz push forward in the center with some conscripts, and Medic sold his uh, forward defenses there. Okay. The uh, Sky Shield, there was a mortar pit and a uh, gun turret, but those all got sold out the moment the conscripts came. Banisher, uh -huh. it seems that uh, Bruce is reminded of you by that hide. Yes, but I would never send just one. No, you would send uh, 15 million. As many as I could muster. Yeah. And uh, welcome, uh, Unlimit... Unlimit Fall? Unlimit Fi? And hello, Corn Pop. How you doing? And look at that map control of uh, Kadas over here. It's just silly. Really. It it's just silly. Do you see a blood out in the air, though? Yeah. Probably some stealth detection there for if uh, Boris tries to come back. Okay. And Kness is actually asking the crowd what what he should do. And people <laughs> are, are already saying Topols to finish it off. Of course they would. Yes. Very well. Go Topols, Kness. I wonder if he has any... Uh, if he has the point yet. Uh-huh. People ask to postpone the finish a bit. Well, if he wants to do it, then by all means. I'm not gonna be against it though. Just look at the amount of stuff uh, Borscht being produced here and sold. It's true. It's, it's just silly. Well, he's got three war, well, two war factories in the industrial plant pumping them out. Like they're going out of style. Yeah. Oh, he's also got the one now that's slightly south of his base pumping them out as well. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, he, he's that end. close to his opponent with his uh, unit production, so he might, yeah. he might as well, you know? And I don't think that uh, Manish, or, uh, sorry, Medix is even at uh, rank 4 yet. Maybe he is, but he's nowhere on uh, rank 5. And, uh, someone sees a howitzer? Someone sees a howitzer. Yeah, there's a howitzer in the middle of Medix's base, just uh, north of his deployment zone. There's a howitzer position there. Yeah, and there's also uh, one south of his uh, region command. And I thought that they made claymores. Yeah. I thought they made claymores. Ah. But it's indeed. Beacon was placed. Ah, there we go. Ah, the mobile topol launcher. Yeah, that's what he wants. That's what he wanted to ask the people. Do they want to see that or just go in for the kill? Well, I mean, it's rare to see the mobile one. Everyone seems to prefer the uh, missile launcher, the, the silo. silo there. Yeah, yeah, that's true because, of course, that's a lot sturdier. Yeah, and but this uh, one you can sneak in nice and close. Yeah, but there's like literally nothing. That, that it can do. It, it takes such a long time before uh, the missile is ready. 
Yep, both you... both missile silo and the launcher take the same amount of time, though. Yep. Uh, question: Can the sentry drone detect stealth? Uh, well, in Starlifter, I think I don't so. Know. I think so. Uh, logic would say that it does because if you take a conscript with goggles and you put it inside of a hide or a hunchback, then that unit will be able to uh, detect stealth as well. But I can't really say anything about it because I don't have experience with that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think it's come up yet, but... Uh... And, uh, uh, Evan says that he, that he thinks as well. So yeah, you've got some potential flying stealth detection. We have some Mista bombardment. Spot the... Ah! Count oh, counted counter. with... Uh... Boom! Boom. Ow! Ah, oh, both of them. With those MTPs there, though, it's hard to take them down. Uh-huh. Looks like they both survived. That's impressive. Another uh, Sentinel coming out. Yeah, I think I, uh, I would come out with like a crap ton of Sentinels before I would come out with a crap ton of Heinz. I'll, I'll use Heinz in my play with uh, Russia, but I'll just use them as annoyance, just like my uh, my Hunchbacks. I'll just use them for annoyance. It's it's uh, Heinz I love, but I also like the Hellions, especially with the uh, Thermobarics. Yeah, true. Uh, it's kind of difficult for me to use them, but uh, you know, it's 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 cool. They're cool. The only one I don't use often is the uh, Hunchback because it, it really is focused on anti-infantry and people still aren't playing with a lot of infantry. True, true. What is he building here? He's building another field command in the back of his base. But the Hunchback with the thermal barrack bombs is basically like a Kiro from Red Alert 2. <laughs> Only a lot faster and a lot weaker. Yeah. And it can also attack infantry with his cannon. But I've seen that it also does some decent damage against armor though, don't forget that. And it can clear out garrisons with his thermal barracks, I think. I see that uh, uh, Kenjaz doesn't want uh, medics to have any sort of uh, uh, map con map visibility. He keeps taking out his uh, surveillance uh, chopper with yep. uh, grumbles and tongues. Uh -huh. Now let's see, where are those topals? I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, uh, seven just got built. Eight, nine, ten. Wow, he's just pumping them out of those uh, war factories up there. Yeah, <laughs> jeez. It's gonna be a one massive Congo line of topals here. Yep, but we have to wait three minutes for them to load up. Yep. <laughs> Bruce is saying, "People not using infantry, come at me, banisher." <laughs> I, I don't dare, dare challenge Bruce. Nope. I'm not suicidal. And what I might actually do, and this is a bit of a spoiler in regards to post-release uh, streams, is uh, set up a testers challenge where people uh, get to play against one tester specifically and see if they can beat him. I get, except myself. I was just going to say, in before everyone uh, votes for you. Except myself. <laughs> because hey, someone's gotta observe the matches, right, and stream it. So that's that's gotta be me. Aren't I just a bastard? Congo line of topals. Yeah, he's he's just pumping them out like crazy, man. This is silly. Hector sing nuclear by Mike Oldfield when they start firing, please. I don't even know how the song goes. I didn't know that. Such a song existed. Another sentinel coming out over here. Yeah, right. Observe the matches. You got a problem, stubborn pony? I'll kick you if I if you keep on doing like that. You should check out Ken Jass's um, money Borsch selling fields. Yeah, in there's there's like a super massive blobs here in the in the north yeah. And he's still broke, so it's all going into uh topals, topals. I'm sure. Absolutely. Topals and the missiles. But 
let's see, body check it is, dude. Uh, something about that Uber micro kit. I don't know. I don't care about that kid. Just a couple of uh, hides in the air though. Singing your opera voice. <laughs> I did that last Friday. My throat doesn't like me anymore. Yeah, it'll be a bad time for you to start singing opera, I'm sure. Well, we've got a uh, tear gas strike incoming. On the Sentinels. And the MTP. But it'll just be tear gas, though, because uh, I'm not seeing Pandora research yet. Nope. Nope. Uh, just listen to that... Uh, to the bullets ricocheting off of the uh, Sentinels' armor here. Yeah. Oh, I could handle a joke, uh... Stubborn Pony, I can handle a joke or two, but you know, you gotta keep it within certain bounds. Look at just just look at that. I don't know how For many some reason we have an engineer running out to meet the sentinel. I don't know, it, it wasn't uh, nerve gas, so you can't take it, right? No. We need Pandora, absolutely. That engineer's still running, where is he going? Maybe gonna try and capture one of the uh, war factories? <laughs> Perhaps? The game is frozen a little bit. Yeah. I don't even see. Oh, the engine. No, oh, that's a dog. Barrier coming to uh, do some damage here against the Mustas. Ah, there's the engineer. Bring forth the neutron bombs. Yeah. <laughs> the Pandora is definitely one of the uh, most often chosen for against Russia. Yeah, understandably, because they have. Uh, it really brings in the artillery, of course. Yeah, and it takes out a, a sentinel blob like it's nothing. Uh huh. Eats it for breakfast. Uh, the game doesn't really like this many teleports, so could ask if you could hear me finish it off. Let me just uh, type that in here. The chat. Chef. Chef. Hey, Pit, how you doing? Okay. Let's see. I hope, uh... He's going to finish it off now. It's taken long enough, I'd say. He's got quite a few topals I'm seeing with doors closed, so that's, uh... Yep. So many topals. It's just Banisher's connection, baby. Oh, it's your connection. That sucks. Get better internet. I definitely did drop out of chat for a minute there. That was uh, my connection freaking out for a moment. Okay, it can't handle the awesomeness, so get no. better into this. <laughs> I definitely should. If it was available where I am, I would definitely get better internet. Yeah, well, we've got a Claymore out. Well, there you go. Started to bombard the uh, war factory over here in the south. It's already severely damaged. So a couple of blasts from that and uh, it's going down. But another one is going up right next to it. <laughs> Look at that amount of sentinels. I'm not offline.
What do we want? Better internet. When do we want it? Three years ago. Yes. Uh, thank you, Lightning Patriot, for the follow. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, please read the rules below the video feed so that uh, I won't have to ban you for uh, breaking any of my rules. I don't like to do that, but I will if I have to. But anyway, thank you so much for the follow, man. I really appreciate Looks it. Looks like those topals are moving forward now, perhaps yep. in for the kill. Yep. Bear for two. I think that the game is just going to freeze and crash. With all those topals firing at the same time. The Claymore is... Not a unique unit, because here you see a second one already. Uh, it doesn't even require a general uh, general point anymore, I think. It's just tier Not 2, right? Not to my right? knowledge. Yep. Just tier 2. Sentinel looks like a bear. Well, it's, it's a tank. It's not a bear, it's a tank. Looks like a tank. Acts like a tank. It is a tank. Ready? Three, two, one. He's ready. Oh, poor medics, poor medics. Oh, we've got a Bulldog turret over here. It's the rank one, though. Taking out one of the two of the topals. Rank two, and it just about took, it took out a third. Yeah. Well, some of the topals have uh, started launching. Yeah, but we've also got some retaliatory uh, fire from strike. the claymores. Yep. Yeah. A third claymore, at least. Oh, uh, one's off. Yeah. Two is off. And the bulldog is rank two indeed. I really like the firing animation. It's just like. Uh, a little bit of a rocket boost to get outside of the, the launcher itself and then just brief seconds just nothing and then it just goes up into the air beautiful yeah well you have to make sure you don't melt your launching tube <laughs> yeah true well they're coming to hit the front line first it looks like uh, despite the fact that he took out quite a few it may not matter <laughs> Nope, here we go, here we go. Look at all those pretty explosions. Spreading the mustard! In in the vein of Crimson, definitely spreading the mustard. Call him Pastrami on Rye. Ow. <laughs> Maybe before the entire screen goes white. <laughs> oh man, that's gotta hurt. Yeah. Uh, Medics has been defeated. He didn't even give us a chance to uh, see everything get nuked here. <laughs> it is lagging pretty heavily with all yeah. those uh, units on the field. True. You have been Boom. And the Sentinels were just about to move in as well. Yep, for the uh, killing blow, but it wasn't needed. Nope. It was not needed. Now look at the differences in the supplies collected. Literally more than triple for Kanas. Yep. New game over screen. You still here, buddy? I'm still here. Because uh, I didn't hear you respond to what I said. Which was? Look at the resources gathered from uh, Kness. Literally tripled, more than tripled that of medics. Well, I mean, that was to be expected with all of those uh, yep. Forsh sellers in the back. Yep. Uh, folks, I'm going to take a uh, quick toilet break.
Uh, did I finish my coffee? Yes. I'm also gonna grab uh, my bottle of water from the fridge. So I'll be right back. Go grab drink. Go grab snack or whatever. I'll be right back. As we listen to uh, Mr. Mr. Doomhammer depart. Okay, now we'll have to get ready for the next sets of matches. Let's see, let's see. Okay, what do we have now? Who will be playing up? So. Okay, I'm back. Excellent. Hopefully you're staying hydrated. Don't want to get too sick. Nope. So what's the next uh, thing going to be? Uh, it looks like we have some debate in the uh, beta tester chat. Uh-huh. Knuckle to Emerald. Why is your record player stuck, man? What you say? Too quiet. Well, I have an idea. How about you versus me? You versus me? I'm assuming you're talking to me? Yeah. Okay. We can try. I'm going to regret this, but I'll, I'm willing to give it a go. Let's go on. I'm going to try some China action. Let's see what I can do with that. Well, in that case, I'll go with Russia. Manly Russia. Or is Russia? Dutch Russia. Dutch Russia? <laughs> I'm going to regret this, folks. Because I already do. <laughs> <laughs> go random? I'm not gonna go random! <laughs> hey, how's it going? I can do that. Okay, so... Now, though, we have a, a little bit of uh, a more even playing field as we're both uh, expected to... Uh, Commentate as we go. Yep. And I'm gonna be very quiet. <laughs> I will do my best to fill in then. So. I'm in the south, you're in the north. No, I'm in the south, you're in the north. New construction site? Wait a minute. Mind games already. No. <laughs> Construction complete. Magical scaffolding appear. And I'm not Russia, I'm GLA. Yes. Just uh, to be sure here. Uh, where's th that thing of mine here? You got and it. we have uh, Doomhammer going up with a I war factory on his front lines. That'll be uh, helpful later. Get his slow tanks out into the field quicker. Uh, oh yeah, shit. Got to do that. We're forgetting half of the stuff already. Trust me, I'm an engineer. That is not very good idea. I think you might need high test, my friend. Okay, and it uh, looks like Doomhammer has attempted to take his uh, expansion to his uh, left. Building his barracks there to secure it. No. <laughs> You're seeing things, man. Really. I might be uh, some some hallucinogens I took there. Uh... Yeah. 
And he's garrisoning his uh, little comm tower there. Good. Yeah. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Do you have orders for me? Meanwhile, in the south, I've taken the other expansion. Um, I'm also attempting to um, capture my uh, extra resources and my oil. I'm just scared shitless here. I'm scared as shit. <laughs> I can tell you. Ready for battle. Let's show him how Russians fight. The uh Slightly damaged oil in the center is uh, still up for grabs, but uh, it's a bit of a risk to take those. They're easily taken out. Let's put this thing right here. BMP, ready to roll. Who called for a transport? I see a couple of uh, BMPs and. Kodiaks coming in uh, on the right hand side down. See how those do. We have a flame uh, pyro taking out the uh, barracks there. I can build many buildings. I shall hit it repeatedly with hammer. The crew is doing glorious progress. Units lost. Not a problem at all. See you there, comrade. Right! Nice. Yes, comrade. Ready in the new one. Cut up the side. I don't have a See, uh, using, trying to use the, uh, bunk, the, uh, building for cover there. There we go. Very successful rush, but infantry is crushable. I know. And I'm out of power. Yes. Magical Not the end of the world for Russia, but here. still never a good thing. Oh wait, I only need one of that, one of that, two of those, two of those. Oh, may have done, may have wanted to do something else, but uh, well. Just tell me what you need. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I want this now. I shall hit it repeatedly with hammer. RPG locked and Hey, how's it going? Magical. Hey, and he's regarrisoning his structure by the uh, secondary supplies. Really? Am I? I thought I wasn't. Yeah. So, so has some conscripts out in front. Okay, I'm gonna go for this then. Yeah. Okay. Gotta do that next, indeed. If I can find something. <laughs> You're wondering how I'm keeping eyes on the battlefield. No, 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 no. I'm, I was looking for this. Are you crazy? They can't build there. Oh, we, we see uh, Teslas coming in. Really? Wow. Moving towards the center of the map. I have a diploma. Honey, I think you might need eye test, my friend. Yes? Oh, man, I'm so fucking nervous. <laughs> we stand by you, comrade. 
Uh, it looks like he's going after the oils in the center with his little attack force. I've had them long enough, it looks like. Infantry don't stand much of a ta chance against the Burratino and uh, Tesla Coil combo there. Nope. I have the final say. Uh, oh yeah, this. Uh, maybe that too. Ready to break their lives. Remember what I told you, Dograts. I prepare for war. Shock ready to break their lives. Throw me into the carnage. Moving up. Unit lost. They will tremble in fear. This take runs on nothing but vodka and Mig's oil. moving in to take out those uh, Tesla coils. Uh-huh. I'm very there for war. This take runs on nothing but vodka and oil. Taking advantage of the lack of anti-air. No, there wasn't a lack of anti. Oh, there was a lack of anti in that one. We will command the future. Excellent. Unit lost. Ready for battle. Ha! Ah, we the words that be for our families. For our families. Taking position. Divide. Divide. Almost. Remember Hello. Don't mess with me. War is degree. There's nothing I cannot do. Gunship awaiting order. Ready to break their lines. Get me a good angle, my lord. Allow me to dispose of this trash. Weapons try. I'll point out that. It's called a blind thing for a good reason. Okay, uh, blah, blah, blah. a couple of you, a few more of you then, and some more of you, because I forget this. Yes. Oh, did you uh, lose your technology now? Something. I may have. Get me a good angle, pilot. We see. <laughs> I'm feeling that this might actually go a lot better than I expected first. I'm I'm probably annoying to no end all of the Chinese players as well. We bring great vengeance. The earth will tremble. I think you should take a look at my uh, <laughs> special offers. Okay. Is this. Unit do lost. I want? Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's keep moving. Select target. Yes, general. More men for the grinders. Customers to serve and money to Launching make. surveillance missile. I forgot that I changed so the. Uh... You have my word. Waiting orders. 
their worst nightmare. I've got a couple of things. The earth will Good. Give me a chance. No, I'm not gonna give you a chance. I don't want to you to have a chance, mate. Wow, those things don't go together well. At least I got a gun that works. Customers to serve and money to We will curse the enemies of Russia. Embrace oblivion. <laughs> I also sell borscht. You want this hey, Oh my god, now I understand why you said it's borscht sellers. Yes, they sell, they, that's what they say, there's a line. Yeah. We also sell borscht. And I just heard that. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the extra cash though. And where do you, oh, whoa, whoa. Shall pacify them. Oh, a couple of you, and let's just get a couple more. Where is that ECM tank? Right there, I think. Thank you. Am I giving you a bit of a hard time, perhaps? Is that possible? It is I, Boris. Eat lead. Unit lost. Okay. Kodiak tank, full combat ready. I think I know what I need, though. Pride of the Where's my? Quest. There's my. I can do that. Yet, you're aiming that backwards! So legitimate! You have my word! So legitimate, you have my word! <laughs> okay, let's uh, get that all done. Boris has arrived. Get that done. Launching surveillance missile. Rapid deployment transport. Construction here. complete. Assault transport standing so, by. Could I'm I'm on my way. Nothing can outrun my missile. Oh, hey. Peace by force. We shall pacify them. She may be ugly, but she gets the job done. Rapid deployment transport. Ready to break Load this and this and what does he have? They will tremble. <laughs> Their worst nightmare. What the? There is no escape. Sentinel, what the hell are you even doing, man? You're an idiot. You're an idiot, uh, dude. Ready to break that line. Only slightly used. I promise. Only slightly used. I promise. Thanks. We will curse the enemies of Russia. We will come out. Failure is your death. Victory is life. The Sentinel awaits. Shock trooper, ready to break their lines. Uh, oh, wait. Making Russia strong. No. I wonder. That no, wasn't going to be such a special money to make. Uh, let me just do it from here then. Select target. Hang on, guys, we're coming in low. It will all soon be over. None shall pass. As you wish, comrade. <sighs> I don't know how I'm doing it, but I'm doing something here. The earth will tremble. Is this your face? We bring great vengeance. Unit None lost. shall pass. Customers to serve and money to make. Trust me, I'm an engineer. 
I can build anything. Construction specialist. Let's just get Magical a couple more of these out. The of Russia. We bring great vengeance. Yes, you do bring great vengeance. Shock division. I don't know how things are going. I have a feeling I might stand a chance, but I've got a feeling that I'm going to get screwed over severely. Yet you're aiming that backwards. Hey, <laughs> idiot! I am more popular than ice cream fan. Oh yeah, this is something we haven't shown yet. Um, if you have the uh, infantry, uh, oh hey, nice mines there. If you have the infantry uh, reserves, then you can upgrade your uh, war trucks. To the mobile uh, barracks. The field quarters. Very you useful structure. Lost. Yes, indeed. Prepare for war. Security point authorized. Oh wait. Select target. Prepare to the father of all. Select target. Golem tank, ready to rumble. Here's some six vintage for you. This will tank just complete. Remember what I thought you were. Worst we have a uh, foe up on the house. Dropping the bombs. I have a feeling you've got something up your sleeve, man. You're too quiet for me. <laughs> I'm scared. Sadly, it's just because I'm concentrating. Okay. Well, I've got a uh, tremor up and running, so... Uh, I don't think I'll survive that long. I could, I could make you survive that long, but... Ooh, I've got an elite uh, Tesla tank! Nice! But I do want to do this, though. Disco show? Yeah! Of course. Yes, leader. This will take moving. Discharging. It's a little disco show. There you go, folks. We bring great vengeance. And what do you have left then? I'm missing something. Did you go back over there then? We shall break the horizon. Uh, yeah, here. Recruits on the way. Do you have orders for me? Let's win this war together, comrades. Do you have orders for me? Let's win this war together, comrades. As ready as I'll ever be. I like ready the armor reserves. Unit lost. Can't I take leak first? Can, can I take leak first? Enemies of Russia, beware! Just how old is this thing? Look at all these bullets! Something I can do for you. Standing by. Come on. Let's show him how Russians fight. One more somewhere, I think. Ready for battle. Yeah, where are you? Loud and clear. What do you have left? Let's win this war together, comrades. General wants. General yes. yeah, comrade general. We need this place for What do you have left, man? <laughs> but it, where are you? Wait, where's my stuff? Over here. There's nothing here. Nice, help me. Patience. <laughs> We are I'm like, I don't know, I'm scared. As you wish, We're trolling me. We 
shall break the horizon. If only, if only. What? Judgment if only, if only. The, the, what am I missing? Uh, I still have units in my base. In your base? Standing by. Copy that, pilot. Climbing up a wall, but yeah. Clear enough. Oh wait, I think I see something. Ah, oh, here you go. Yeah, I saw that Gatling cannon at the last second, and I was like, hey, wait, that's it. That's it, then. We bring great vengeance. I beat Badisher. <laughs> I think. I hope. It will all soon be over. Rapid fire. You lost. Oh, someone contacts me on the uh, Steam. What idiot doesn't know that I'm streaming right now? Worst nightmare. My turn. Well, here I come with another uh, round of e something. Now, this was an enjoyable match. I didn't think I would do this well, because I was screwing up left and right. <laughs> I'm afraid that with my China, I'm also screwing up. Okay. Are you done, Dad? Almost. Almost, I see. Just a little bit south as well. Yeah, I see that, uh... Embrace oblivion. We're gonna take care of that right now. Oh. That guy. And... I win! I you win! Are... <laughs> you are victorious. Oh my god, I win! This is the first time that you'll see this screen, folks! <laughs> awesome! I can't believe it! Yeah, I think from the time I lost my secondary resources, there wasn't much hope. Yeah. Gee fucking G, man. Okay, uh, I'm streaming right now. <sighs> my goodness. <laughs> Next match, Doobie versus Bruce. <laughs> Uh-uh. <sighs> Man, I, I'm, I'm shaking here. My heart is racing. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I won. It was a good match. Yeah. I, I really need to learn my China, I think. I'll have to, to get uh, Dutchie to coach me a bit. And this is also real good as China. <sighs> Uh, you had the middle ore, uh, the middle oil derricks even. I did, not for long, but I did have them, yeah. So yeah. You came through with your uh, Tesla very quickly. Yeah, I, I, I decided to go for Tesla because I don't I don't actually know. Uh, Xadis, Zero Phoenix. Well, let's do a three player free for all. What about Danger Close? Not Danger Close. Yeah, Danger Close. It's 2v2. Right? Sure. Kenja with his maroon china. Yeah. <sighs> Someone wants me to coach them as Dutchy Killer? Oh, Mr. Kimberson. Okay, we've got a fourth player. Perfect. Splendid. Excuse me. Because zoom tight. Ah, I I needed to do that. We're still also seeing you as Russia. Yeah, yeah. I, I was selecting. <laughs> I always select the map first. Ah. Uh, although usually it's random, not Russia. Yeah, because uh, I did <laughs> random last time that I played. Uh, Unity A, a smaller map. Sure. If I can find it. Oh, it's probably an unofficial map then. 
Unity. This one? We're going to see some GLA on GLA action. This could be interesting. Yeah, it could be. Unless it, the GLA is partner. We'll have to see how the teams go. Uh -huh. Though Bruce should play. I don't know what's go go going on. Uh, Mr. Kim is in, but is he supposed to play then or not? Or just uh, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, oh. Knaas is with me, Kim. Oh, Knaas and... Oh, that's not going to be a fair match. No. Waiting for Bruce Kim. Okay, we're waiting for Bruce. So, Kim, okay, you, you'll have to leave then. There is Bruce and Mr. Kim. We'll have to leave for Sir Phoenix then. Yep. I'm sorry, Kim. Sir Phoenix, get in. He said he just had to quickly install his map pack. So, hopefully, he has it and he's just unpacking it. Yeah. And Mr. Kim really wants to play. He's back. Yeah, next match. There we can go. I try a match? Well, uh, Chris, you don't have this uh, version yet, so you can't, really. But, as it's been said, it's coming very soon. We'll see it in the ne in the first quarter, so possibly soon. Yep. TM. TM. Right, so if uh, I, I think this is just the setup they wanted. So we have two USAs versus a China and a GLA. Yep. We've got Gla and, and uh, Gina versus Usa and Usa. Usa Usa. Yeah. Usa squared. Team Democracy, as uh, they like to call it. And this really shows how different uh, the playstyles are between Sarah Phoenix and uh, Bruce. And they really support each yeah. other very well. They really do. I'm not seeing Bruce on a team yet, are you? Uh, no, not yet. But he hasn't accepted either, so... Uh, can you guys give me just a second? I need to blow my nose, this is annoying. I think everyone is ready. Manager? Manager? I'm... I accept it on my screen. Did it not work? Yeah, okay, but you were silent. Yeah, sorry. You've, you've also gotten very quiet now all of a sudden. Yeah, I was away for a brief second to blow my nose. No, no, now you're quiet. Your your mic is lower? No, no, no. I, I didn't touch any of my mic settings. Okay, I'll just turn up my volume then. Maybe you want to do that. There we go. Now you're nice and good. Right. So we'll have the north dispensing freedom onto the south? Uh, the east dispensing, uh, dispensing freedom on the west. More so. <laughs> well, let's just agree to disagree. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, we've played this map uh, with a similar setup. Uh, only then, uh, Sir Phoenix and Bruce were on the west side. I remember this.
Murica. Murica. Okay, so we've got uh, some infantry being sent out by... Um... V4 Nemesis, thank you so much for the follow, I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please have a look below the video feed to uh, read the rules. <laughs> so then we won't have to ban you. Beacon placed by Kanas, already spotted the uh, two oil derricks there. And Sir Phoenix is getting really close to them. With some... Yeah. Uh, oh no, that's Bruce. And uh, he's going for dronage. Alright, dude, he's gonna go with Drownage! That'd be awesome, dude! <laughs> See some of that West Coast uh, USA uh, Dronage? Yeah, dude! <laughs> Sarah Phoenix obviously going straight for his uh, War Factory there. Yeah, but he's got the Drone uh, Assembly Plan oh, as no, well. Oh no, Dronage as well, you're right. Yeah, we've got double Dronage, dude, it's awesome! Like, totally awesome, we've drone. got double Dronage! Yeah! We have a worker attempting to make his way past the water. Past the water? The oh, uh, yeah. Guardian drone may make short work of him. If he can get there in time. Uh huh. And he will. So if yep. he's capturing those two oil derricks. No, wait, that's Xadus, sorry. He's Cyan. Damn, that worker is tough. Or the, or, yeah, they use our Guardian drones, so they don't they're do much damage drone. against the uh, place. No. Really, they're all about uh, anti-tank shells. Yeah. Well, Bruce got the uh, air right away. As you see with the airfield right there. Drone and some hunter-killer drones. Yeah, he's going with the drones again. Hunter-killer drones being uh, very powerful, because they're invisible. So you can't attack them unless you have stealth detection. Uh, they are only invisible. Uh, it's, it's an ability to be invisible for 12 seconds. It's an ah. active ability. Oh, I see a uh, terror rush coming in, probably. Terrorist rush inside of the technical. Yeah. Well but spotted. Not seeing... There they are. There they are. Boom! Also doing some damage to the barracks. But I think we still have a couple of terror. Yeah, terrorists. No, those are just rangers. Okay. Ow. It's painful. And we've got some dragon tanks. Ah, uh, I see a Comanche coming in. He's gonna have to watch out for those uh, Gatling tanks. Uh huh. And he didn't. Mercy is down. I think. Uh, Sir Phoenix bringing in some uh, reinforcements with Humvees and uh, Goliath tanks. Yep. So this is a uh, heavy rush here on the uh, Kadasa's side. Yep. Those Goliath tanks taking a beating and now they're uh, back into the ground from whence they came. Yep. Looks like Bruce had a rocky start. I don't know if the, he'll be able to pull it back from this. I don't know either. I mean, there's a lot of infantry and uh, a clever move here by Kness going heavy on the Gatling tanks as well. Yep. Knowing that and his infantry. Opponent, yeah, knowing that his opponent would go for the drones in the air superiority. Although I think there may be some uh, friendly fire in regards to the Dragon tank. Hey, up passing. How you doing, buddy? See a couple of scorpion tanks now moving in. Oh, Sarah Phoenix trying to offer some support in the form of a, uh, a base, a fire base in uh, Bruce's uh, base, but I think uh -huh. it uh, might be a little too little too late. Yeah, especially with the scorpion tanks coming in now. Yep. Uh, protective missile side is doing some damage against the scorpions, but I don't know how much it's gonna help. And it's uh, all around just uh, full map control for uh, the Western team here. Although, uh, yeah. Okay, he's got two Comanches out now. Uh huh. And I'm still seeing two Gatling tanks, though, so he's gonna have to watch himself still. Yep. 
But he's not gonna do it, he's just gonna head oh. first. He's trying to take out that that hard point, but that didn't work. Nope. I and that is a a... I think it's a disruptor team that I see coming in. Or just the volunteer squad. Uh, I think that's just the volunteer yeah, squad. That's the volunteer squad indeed. But yeah, but Bru I think it's Bruce game is, over. Yeah, Bruce is uh, getting pounded hard here. Mm-hmm. Look at all that infantry. Uh, Bruce trying to take care of the infantry with his uh, Blackhawk. Yeah. Dropping but down the infantry inside of it right now. Those Income quads quad are going to give him trouble. Oh, yeah. Bruce Firebase runs inbound, says uh, Evan. Like, Firebase should be buffed because they suck. Must you always you rush? Always. Yeah. That, that China rush there, he really likes his infantry. Uh-huh. Well, why not? I mean, you gotta keep the pressure up because you don't want to give your opponent too much of ground. True. And Bruce has already Bruce been Collins. defeated. Wow. So now it's also a Phoenix. I, I'm sure he'll call it soon, too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Was a, a good move indeed by Kness and uh, Xadis to go after Bruce first, knowing that... Uh, Sir so Phoenix needs some time in order to uh, set up his uh, army and such. Although the microwave thing could prove to be some ow. Ooh, like, didn't quite make it in time. Nope. And Sir so Phoenix has been defeated. A two v two in seven and a half minutes, folks. You don't <laughs> see that every day. You have been defeated. Nope. That was a heck of a early rush. Plus the uh, terror rush, just as the Kenjas was doing his uh, infantry rush, uh -huh. that was uh, a lethal combination. It, it it took all of Bruce's income away, yep. basically, and gave him something to fight right away. Yep. <laughs> this was really well executed. Mm -hmm. Eat freedom! Oh wait, <laughs> says Xadis. It wasn't disappointing. This was a really good match. Mm-hmm. Bigger bad? Short, but sweet. Yeah. Well, I think that uh, Mr. King wanted to play, so let's just give him a match right now. Okay. Doobie! Rematch! Nope. I insist that Mr. Kim gets a match first. Because he really wanted to play, and so he shall. Uh, just for the sake of it, I'll set myself as observer right now. Medisher and Medics, and Xadis. Well, Mr. Kim wants to play. Yes, it's been very active. I've been ignoring it as well because I'm trying uh -huh. to, uh, Xadis, to stay in game. I'm going to kick you out because apparently Mr. Kim versus Menix is the one that we're going to see. Mr. Kim, get in. It's your turn. Mr. Kim is also a uh, fellow Kanaki stadion. Is he now? Yeah. From what I understand. Very nice, very nice. It's a big country, though. Yeah, it is. Unlike Holland. <laughs> Unlike Holland, yes. Hey, see, Fox, how you doing, buddy? How you doing? Ah, he is in. Excellent. We have got a match. Official. Okay, now we just need a nice little map. Yeah. Well, we'll go with all by assault. Sure. 
Classic. Classic one. Uh, he's South Korean, apparently, Mr. Kim. South Korean, but you live in Canada, right? I thought he lives in Canada. Keep hearing that. I'm waiting until he answers. Oh, he's just going to uh, <laughs> ping the chat then? Sure, Mr. South Korean uh, Kanukistanian. Let's do this. Oh, I've and crashed. You crashed? That's okay. That's okay. I can uh, solo this. So you can just watch the stream. Okay. I'll just tell the guys uh, to keep going. Oh, that was a fun match. <laughs> you were so quiet. You you scared the crap out of me with that, with your silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. I just I, at the start I was trying to to dialogue, but it just I got uh, too yeah. too intent on the game. It got a little uh, intense. Uh huh. Sure, Bruce. You'll have a rematch after this one, given that we have enough time. And then there's always in two weeks. I'll just uh, tell them to keep going. Keep going. Oh, uh, where's the game? Felt him out. Dang. Felt him out. In two weeks, indeed, because I won't be here next week. I'll be away celebrating my birthday. With my family. Well, happy birthday to you. Thank you. Birthday and stuff. So, Medics, as uh, ECA, Mr. Kim, as uh, Goa. And a train that I hear. But no real threat of the train, I think, unless does it drive by here? I don't know. Uh, I think you chose the zero hour map. Yeah. So that means that the only train will be um, on the side. By the little second bases, not through their main bases. Gotcha. I hear a train. There you go. I hear the train a coming. It's rolling down the tracks. Hi. I... Right, let's see. So, Maddox went immediately for the uh, large supply piles over here in the west, and I think that uh, Maddox or yep. uh, uh, Mr. Game is trying to go for the east ones. Supply stash tunnel and probably just a uh, douchebag nest, I have to guess. Yeah, douchebag nest. Douchebag nest. And I guess that uh, Medix supplied something or placed something wrong. Is my minion still here? Who's your minion? Doobie Bot. Ah. Yes, Overlord do Hammer. I do be but your minion of evil is here to serve you. Please don't <laughs> hurt me. That's kind of the voice you should picture for him. Yes, my birthday is on February 2nd. Uh, Monday, actually. And there's a good chance I will only return on Tuesday, but I might not stream that day either, because I'll be way too tired and way too busy with other stuff.
And Manix is going for the oil derrick here in the west. There's also an oil derrick here in the east that uh, Mr. Kim hasn't got yet, but he'll probably get it. Looks like uh, Mr. Kim got both oils. Nope. Just one. What about the uh, southeast one? The southeast? Am I seeing a line there? Uh, oh, wait. There's also these oil derricks. Yeah, he's got the one in the northwest, but the southeast hasn't been captured yet. Ah. Darl. Oh, that's a good minion. That's a fun game, though. Overlord. Racing L. That's a fun game. So, thus far, it's uh, kind of a slow paced match. Thus far, uh, solar, solar reactor is going up for medics here. Hey, Bob is awesome. How are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? This is Rise of the Reds. It's a mod for uh, Command and Conquer Generals. Are you enjoying Gats Out of Hell? I'm still going to play Overlord 2, of course, I have to. Too slow economic. Speaking of, let's have a look. See I'm not seeing Medic. Mr. Kim is sitting at 2500. Medics. This is stereotypical. Also 2500. Yeah, he's not taking up as fast, you're right. Hold out till your opponent quits faction. That's uh, easy, uh, yeah. Well, maybe uh, we're gonna see Mr. Kim in the 40 bomb trucks. Now, Get Out of Hell is uh, a standalone expansion for uh, Saints Row 4, basically. It's a continuation of Saints Row 4. Okay, Black Market's going up for Mr. Kim. Both players will be at uh, tier 1 then. And... We've got a deployment zone going up here already. I don't see the lab yet. Redex is finally going for his uh, second oil derrick over there. A couple of douche contests. Don't care us that uh, bunker yet. And we've got some tank trap barricades going up over here. So Medex is bunkering in on the left side of the map. See a couple of scorpion tanks. I am seeing the technical. And if I recall correctly, this is going to be cluster bombs. And... What else? What else? It's the other tier for ECA GLA. Canister rounds, yeah, that's the one. Canister rounds tier one for uh, technicals and uh, uh, quad cans, and then the bomb trucks, demo tracks, and uh, terrorists that place demo traps around will be uh, with cluster bombs. Yeah, he's just bunkering in. And of course the uh, recycler trucks will give the uh, the quad canister rounds and uh, the ground faced Woton barbecue uh, popcorn popper thing. Ray. Quite a lethal unit. Yeah. I've I've experienced it in match and it just chews through buildings. Yeah. It is uh, the perfect counter to ECA. It has the range of like a mortar pit, but it uh, just chews through them so fast. Uh -huh. Of course, very, very fragile and can't deal with anything but buildings, but... And infantry. 
Uh, even with infantry, they still stand a chance. Yeah, it it de definitely does damage to them, but not uh, nearly as much as buildings. I do see a terrorist, so maybe uh, we've got a terror rush incoming. It'll or... be a bit late for a terror rush. Yeah, or he's just gonna start setting up demo traps uh, around the bases and such. Perhaps a terror mid-game? <laughs> yeah, could be, could be. A Harrier in the air already, and also a Bloodhound. And now the lab is going up. The search facility. And yet the terrorists can be stealthed now. That makes them useful. Oh, and what's this? Medics going with a little guard tower uh, expansion over here, close to the uh, base of uh, Mr. Kim. Guard tower is very good against the GLA because they chew through all of the light, uh, light stuff, yeah, the yeah. light uh, vehicles and infantry. He basically needs scorpion tanks to uh, deal with it. And enough about Kim Young asshole. I agree. Soros and Vasily are in charge of the chat, besides me, of course. And I'd say enough is enough. No politics, Let's no religion. Back. Let's just talk about this game and this game only. Unless I say otherwise. Are you trying to... Uh... Oh, that's a bomb truck, alright. With a hey, bio bomb. Very good. Bio bombs are wonderful. That leaking anthrax wreckage can ruin your day. Yep. Now what's the uh, basic? What, what's the uh, Goliath system called for the Harriers again? I don't remember. Chaff. The what? Chaff. 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 Yep. Okay. C H A F F. Chaff. Ah, oh, chaff. Like a Sir Chaff on the forums. <laughs> like Sir Chaff, I guess. Yeah, gotcha. But it seems that uh, Mr. Kim is just going to blow up uh, the Antrax bomb truck himself because it's in the way. Hmm? It, well, that, uh, that leaking Anthrax will do friendly fire, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, absolutely. So he'd want to make sure that that wasn't sitting by his base for too long. Uh-huh. I'm seeing a lot of Harriers from uh, medics. That's an unusual thing. What is it, Bruce? The consensus in the chat seems to be that uh, Sir Kim may have waited a bit too long. Now this uh, ECA tick is not able to be removed. Nope. It'll be interesting to see if he can dig it out. Uh -huh. well, I see a sensor array going up in the west. So we've got some self detection over there. There's still one thing happening in the east though. We I think Mr. Kim could easily just do something there and make a little sneak attack. Maybe that's what, exactly what he's waiting for, to get up to, tier, to uh, rank 3 for the sneak attack tunnel and then uh, plot some stuff out. But he doesn't have many units though. No, he really doesn't. And GLA needs to be pushing its advantage because they make money by killing stuff. Yeah, well I'm seeing a rocket buggy here. Rocket buggies are useful. Yeah. They can outrange almost... Uh, Almost any stationary structure except for the uh, mortar, mortar pit. pits. And there's one on the, on the hill over there, and there's probably another one being built, yes. But I'm not seeing any grads. Well, he's not at uh, tier 2 yet. Oh, he is, he is. He's totally at tier 2. Totally! 
The rocket buggy is taking care of the uh, tanks from barricades over here. That might be more effective with its uh, mortar fire. But uh, uh, that's an often unused feature of the, the uh, rocket buggy. Yeah. Which is unfortunate because it's really good against uh, infantry and buildings. Yep. Those bloodhounds and tigers even are just going to make it even harder for Kim to uh, to penetrate the direct front. Especially yeah, I don't think they'll be able. To. There is a sensor uh, array there as well, so stealth detection, ahoy. Yes, he definitely has a stealth detection grid. He doesn't want. Uh, any sneaky sneaky uh, units coming in, bomb trucks, what have you. Yeah. Okay, see you later then, Bob. It's awesome. It was uh, awesome to have you around for a little bit. I'll see you next time. I'll maybe catch you on uh, your stream then. Bakugo is streaming. Minecraft. They're requesting a money check. A money check will happen. Mr. Kim sitting at like 1300, 1400 right now, and uh, Medic sitting at 1200 right now. But he is building his uh, secondary eco. Only now with a uh, telecom relay. I'm seeing a civilian car over here. So that's uh, not a bomb. That's, a bomb truck. That's, that's a civilian car right there, yeah. But of course it has been spotted. Boom! Killing all, almost all of the infantry here right away. And I think that was maybe a high explosive one. Or just Giving a vanilla one. Extra, extra range sort of thing? Yeah, I think extra so. Extra damage? I mean, there was definitely uh, a lot, a bit, big explosion. So that kind of makes me say it was a uh, high explosive one. But I could very well be wrong. I see some grads being built right now. Some heavy snipers! One of the wonderful new ECA units. Uh huh. Uh, yes, I said right meow. That's kind of normal. Right, right meow. Now meow a days. <laughs> D did you just say meow? Yes, I said meow. <laughs> I, I see another civilian car over here. That's totally not a bomb truck. Yeah, his oh, heavy it, sniper it is. making quick work of uh, units there. And uh, the uh, Bloodhound is uh, target painting one of the tanks over here so that the mortar pits will actually have a bit of extra range, I think. Uh, the um, target painting speeds it up. Speeds it up. It gives an increased rate of fire to all units that are attacking that unit. Oh yeah, they're similar only the board, to... Uh, only the mortar track will, with that ability will uh, increase the range, I guess. Correct. Yeah, That's okay. the no, uh, like that battle is. network. Gotcha. Setting a load uh, scorpion tank into the fray over here. Well, that sucks. Yeah. See another bomb truck. That is totally a bomb truck. And uh, can I? Oh, I can see the the loadout. Only it hasn't been selected yet. So this is the vanilla one. That would be this would be the heavy uh, explosive one. That would be the uh, anthrax one. And I think that. Uh, Mr. Kim learned not to go with the Anthrax one. Harry, you're now taking uh, shots at the... Uh, uh, Grats. Yeah, Mr. Just Kim could definitely do with a, a flanking attack as opposed to this direct assault. Yeah. Especially here in the west, in the in the east. I mean, you could just drive uh, to the oil derrick here in the southeast and then come in from the side, take out immediately the telecom relay, then straight away go for the uh, solar reactor, and boom, you're done. Yeah. Take out his power and uh, his secondary eco for a large portion, and you're done. A couple of your trucks that I see as well. Quad cannons. Uh, 
but uh, Reddick's not giving him any uh, scrap. No, no, he's definitely not. But that is one of the things about playing against ECA. A lot of their very uh, high tiered units will be behind a defensive line uh -huh. for most of the game. Oh, finally, Medix is uh, building a vehicle assembly depot. Well, after uh, his uh, lap, funny enough. He may have to eventually push it forward. He can't win it from his base, although oh. I have seen him try. Just uh -huh. move his base close enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we might actually see a little flanking attack. He's going somewhat for the more direct approach with a couple of rocket buggies. But they're getting sh shot to pieces over here by the gun turrets in the watchtower. Yeah. Guard turret. Yeah. <laughs> Give Doobie Bot some socks. Uh, he's but a lowly minion, he doesn't need socks. He does sound a bit like Doby. If you give him socks, he'll be free. That's why he's not gonna get socks. <laughs> How about shoes? Nope. He'd really like some shoes. Nope. <laughs> I don't know what the hell Kim was fighting with those buggies, but it did work out. But do know that uh, Mr. Kim isn't really a player versus player kind of guy. Uh, I think he plays more against the uh, computer. So. He's just trying stuff out. Why is he moving from the middle when he controls the right part of the map? I don't know. That's what I said, he should go from the right. Down to the southeast. And Mr. Kim already gives up. Wow. No, don't, 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 don't. I think I have to on the... Uh Too much pressure. Yeah, he's he's given up. He's given up. Oh well. Dark rush on the top left. Could have been. You have been defeated. Too late. He gave up. If Mr. Kim is still online, then uh, I don't think he is. But anyway, folks, that's going to be it. Uh, that's going to be it for us today. Uh, unfortunately, Call of Crimson was uh, missing in action, but uh, oh well. I hope you all enjoyed the show, especially <laughs> I did. Um, so, as I said, next week I'm going to be away with my family, celebrating my birthday. So, if you're not going to be with me tomorrow and the rest of the week. I will see you all in two weeks on the 8th of February. Just had to think for a brief moment there. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this. I thank you all for watching. I'm Hector Doom Member. Banisher, thanks for joining me. And I will see you all next time.